In December 2016, a year-long investigation by the Forest Stewardship Council confirmed the findings of the Environmental Investigation Agency and others in concluding that Holtz Industrie Schweighofer, one of the largest timber companies in Europe, has incentivized illegal logging in Romania. The FSC found that Schweighofer could not verify the legal origin of the logs it purchases. A new investigation from EIA reveals the severity and scale of Schweighofer's ongoing trade in illegal timber. In Romania, when a truck delivers logs directly from the forest, the required transport document must include the Woods Harvest Authorization, or APV number. However, when logs are delivered from a depot, this APV information is not included. When Schweikhofer buys logs from a depot, they have no way of knowing where the wood in the truck is actually coming from. This makes the company entirely reliant upon its suppliers in a country with well-documented problems of illegal logging. Clearly, their due diligence is inadequate. In September 2016, EIA investigators observed logging trucks delivering timber to Schweighofer's mill in Sebesh. In a 24-hour period, EIA found that 80% of those trucks came from depots. The majority of the depots were located within a 7-kilometer radius of the Sebesh sawmill. One of the trucks observed by EIA was transporting wood from a forest as registered in its transport document. When the truck arrived in Sebesh, it registered a new transport document claiming to have come from a depot. The volume of timber in both transport documents was exactly the same. This suggests the truck did not unload in a depot, but instead only registered a new transport document, hiding any connection to the forest. In fact, the GPS loading point of the new transport document was in an arbitrary location near the freeway, less than one kilometer from Schweighofer's mill. In December 2016, the Romanian Ministry of the Environment launched a new website called Forest Inspector, providing detailed information about all timber transports in the country. The data available on this website shows that the scheme of registering transport documents from fake depots is a regular occurrence. On any given day, there are trucks registering transport documents from the same arbitrary location as the truck observed by EIA investigators in September. Further analysis of available data on the Forest Inspector website reveals that in the month of September alone, over 300 trucks registered new transport documents within a 7-kilometer radius of Schweighofer Sebesh sawmill with the exact same quantity of wood as transport documents issued from the forest earlier that day. The number of trucks that are registering new transport documents at arbitrary locations so close to Schweighofer sawmill suggests that timber is being laundered at a large scale. The first recommendation of the FSC experts panel was that Schweikhofer must be able to trace back all of its log purchases to the forest stand. Currently, this is impossible due to the vast quantities of wood that they are sourcing from depots. It's time for the company to stop making excuses and finally clean up its supply chain.